right. Obviously, we're uh, thrilled for the outcome of the game. Uh, had so many uh, close wins here in the last 11, and uh, it just feels really good to, to get a win. And uh, our kids uh, did a really good job of, of closing out the game. And uh, that's a really good ball club. Uh, Omaha does a really good job uh, mixing up with their inside outside presence. And I just thought for the 40 minutes, uh, we played really, really efficient at both ends of the floor. And uh, that was the, the basis of the game, just being consistent and efficient for 40 minutes. Was there, a, a, I guess, an emphasis on, on going inside a relief? Because it looked like you guys really went at them inside the paint. Especially. Yeah, that's something that we've um, focused on the past month, uh, quite honestly, is inside outside, balanced attack. And anytime you can have three or four guys in double figures, and uh, if you look at points in the paint, we had 36. I thought we had a balanced attack uh, of driving the ball and feeding the post and then taking our open shots whenever they. Uh, you mentioned your, your guys did a good job of closing the game out. What exactly did you see tonight that maybe you haven't seen in, in, in previous games toward the end as they're trying to close things out? Um, a crowd that was cheering for us. Uh, I think that always helps. Uh, really appreciate uh, the crowd, and it was energized, and, and our guys uh, felt that. And that's one thing that they uh, mentioned in the huddle is the great fan support that we felt. And uh, I think uh, D'Angelo Brewster did a really good job, uh, as well as Jabari and, and Garrett, uh, in terms of poise and handling the ball late game situations. Um, you guys survived that initial run. They went on after you were able to kind of get kind of weather that. Did you feel like, okay, that's as well as they, they're probably going to shoot as long as we play defense and we're still in this game. Is that kind of what the message was to the guys? For the most part, it was just continue to uh, be who we are, uh, continue to get stops, and most importantly, the first rebound. Uh, there's a couple free throw situations that uh, we weren't pleased with because we felt like uh, we uh, had inside position and we just didn't get the rebound. And those are some things that have cost us uh, in the past 10 or 11 games is not being able to secure that first rebound. So. Um, overall, it's really proud for our guys and happy for them. What did you see from D'Lo and, and Mike, especially early in the game, to really get them those, those minutes down the stretch in the second half? To them? Well, for the most part, they've been practicing well. We emphasize, you know, you play how you practice and really was challenging uh, that second unit uh, to bring some extra energy and enthusiasm and practice in the last two days. Uh, the entire unit. Um, was able to bring that. Uh, team three is what we call our scout team. They did a really good job of simulating uh, Omaha. Uh, so it's a total team effort, and it always begins with practice. Offensively, was the second half, you guys shot a really high percentage. Were you just getting better shots, moving the ball, or just those shots that were there in the first half that weren't going and just finally started to go down? I think a combination of both. Uh, we were getting great looks, and they were going down. Um, we had a conscious effort to to play 17 feet in and not depend so much on the three-point shot. And if you look at it, you know, six for 17, uh, not great. Um, but, you know, the first three or four possessions, uh, Garrett's coming off those screens and he's curling and he's hitting eight to 10 foot shots, which is um, like a layup for him when he got it going. To beat a, a top team like Omaha, how much will that, that help, help you guys from a, a confidence standpoint? I think overall just, you know, being able to relax and say, you know what, we, we got one in the win column. Um, it's, it's still not over. We still, our goal is to make the tournament. Um, so we have an opportunity here to, to get better the next few days. Uh, we have the weekend off in terms of no games. Uh, so uh, we're just all about each day, each game, trying to work to be who we are and be better at what we do. Oh my gosh, it feels great. I mean, you can tell in our faces. Right. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's going to help us a lot. It gives us a little more confidence too. Because I mean, I was like one of the first place teams in conference. Yep. And uh, it just feels good to get this one out of the way. So hopefully we got many more to come. Yeah, just keep building, one game at a time. You guys have been in this situation before, but you just haven't been able to close it out. What was the difference today in closing out, closing out a close game? Um, I think the main part was we kept our composure the whole game. You know, we got down early. We were down 10 early, but we kept our composure and we just uh, took possession by possession and we did a really good job of fighting back. First half, they were really hot from three. Is that exactly, exactly what were they, they doing well to get those open shots, make those shots go in? Um, they, were like, they were like nine. Shots they were just making three. shots. Yeah. Honestly, they're just big ups to them. Like, they came in hitting everything, honestly. So, um, I mean, they, they scored off the ball screen, they scored one on one. 
almost across the board. But uh, that's why the second half, it was a different story. We got it contained, and shots weren't really falling that much. When you guys survived that run, because they're not a team that shoots the ball that well from mm -hmm. three, and yeah. they came out as probably as well as they've shot all year, and yet you were still right with them. You were tied at half. Did you feel like, okay, we've survived the best they're going to play. This game is ours to win. Yeah, I mean. Uh, we we stay level headed. I mean, yeah. that's that's a big thing to say. Um, basketball's a game of runs, so everybody's gonna make their run. So we were more like it's time to make our run and then shorten their run, because they're a team. They're definitely a team of runs. They score in, in spurts and can score quick. Put a point. Uh, put a points quick. Well, what exactly was the key to to, to closing this one out, not letting this one slip away like some of them have in the past? Uh, like I said before, just composure. Um, down the stretch, we kept our composure. We didn't turn the ball over. We took care of the ball. Um, we made shots, and we got to the free throw line, and we knocked down our free throws. And we got stops. Yeah, yeah and we got stops. We got stops. <laughs> also, four guys in, in double figures. How important is it to really kind of spread that offense around and get everybody involved so they can't key on everyone? Especially down the stretch when you guys are, are fighting possession for possession. They don't know who the ball's going to in these situations. Um, well, I mean, we, like in the first half, we, went, we were going to Chapman and Tate pretty much and got their big guys in foul trouble. That was a really big part of us making that run back in the second half, or in the first half. And uh, I mean, it was just a balanced attack, like Coach says. Like, when everyone scores, we play well. I mean, and our, also our defense turns into our offense, so that's basically yeah. what it was. And we were playing, we were getting a lot of stops that opened up the floor for everybody. Everybody's playing confidently. So. Hitting big shots. Yeah, hitting big shots. These guys right here. When you guys beat a, a league leader, what does that say to the rest of the league, especially the second half of the season, that about about Western, about this team? I mean, I mean, everybody looks at us at the bottom, but we still think that we're at the top. Yeah, we've had a, some rough spurts, but right now we're just thinking getting to the tournament. We got one game at a time. We're one place behind South Dakota. We're just taking one game at a time. Keep building them on wins. We we'll let we we'll let our game speak for itself.